Hi everybody, my name is uh, Mark Aronson and I thought I'd uh, do this quick video on uh, my nine box grid research and, and this this is before I get into a patch, you know. So I, I'm, I'm looking at a patch and, and, and I run two different types of patch, a BMV patch and a lease option patch. And the BMV patch is generally lower demographic, and, you know, inhabitants and small houses, terraced houses quite often. And a lease option patch, well, that's what I call it, is more middle managers, it's the cul-de-sacs, it's the estates and stuff. And so there's two different types of patch. I'm not saying you can't do either type of divin either, but um, that's just flat, what, what I call it, you know. So let's say a, 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 an area that's uh, lower demographic people and it's uh, small terrace houses, usually two beds, three beds on the end of the row. Um, I've got a, once I've decided on the area and I'm looking at a town of about 120,000 to 150,000 population to do it in. So, uh, a sort of mid-sized town, so and <clears throat> that to, that uh, that population you can you, you can sometimes find it on Google. Well, I quite often find it on Google from the borough council's websites. You can quite often find it from the number of homes because we have the number of homes in an area, and then times by three that gives you a population. So, uh, fifty thousand homes is about one hundred and fifty thousand in population, broadly speaking. So once I've decided, and that that gives what that does, it gives me enough stock to go out. So I'm looking at uh, quite a small patch initially, about 4,000, 5,000 houses, and that's who I'm going to market to um, initially to do, put all my systems in place, my, my kind of processes of the business in place, the sourcing business. And I, the, the first step is, apart from getting on the ground and, uh, and walking around the houses, <coughs> excuse me, is is doing some pricing research to make sure I'm in the right ballpark. So I want the, the I don't want the, the the brand new stock, I want the older Victorian stock, but I don't want it in, 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 in really, really bad areas, I want it in reasonable rental areas, salt of the earth type people, working class people, or working people. And so I do a, a what's called a nine box grid research formation, and I've got quite a few of these nine box grids, but uh, along the top of the, the grid would be uh, two bed terrace, three bed terrace, and three bed semi. For example, you might, if you're in a more expensive area, then you drop the, uh, you know, drop the size of property. And down the side of the, the research grid is grot box, renter, and palace. And they're, they're technical terms. The grot box needs um, everything. It needs bathroom, kitchen, it needs um, decor and carpet. So it needs the whole lot. So we don't do anything structural, but it needs the whole lot, uh, as in the you know, inside. Uh, and, then, and then a renter is a property that is. Uh, it's got everything there, but it might need a lick of paint, you know, maybe a bit of a, you know, a bit of a spruce up or a tidy up to make it into, um, you know, in, into reasonable condition. And then a palace is the next condition. And a palace is a, a property that's got 100 watt light bulbs in every room. It's got, uh, you know, the table set um, for dinner, and there's there's glasses on the table, and they've got little napkins in them and stuff in them. Uh, and, and the, the, it's a gorgeous room. The, the bathroom and the kitchen uh, are all uh, in, in beautiful condition. So that's what I'm looking for. So it becomes a nine box grid altogether. So we've got across the top, we've got two bed terrace, three bed terrace, and three bed semi. And then down the side, we've got uh, grot box, renter, palace. And I'll stop the video now because she's talking on the end. <laughs> So I'm going north today. Okay, there we go. So <clears throat> on that, when I've got the nine box grid kind of set up, then I'll start doing the research on from the agents, from past sold prices, all that sort of thing. And I'll start filling my nine box grids in it. And one nine box grid only equates to around a, a neighbourhood. So that's around five streets, maybe six streets. And then they've normally got boundaries with them. So railway tracks make boundaries, uh, rivers make boundaries, or you know edges of um, uh, conurbation. So the, the, the kind of fields and stuff or industrial estates they make boundaries to the neighbourhood. So each nine box grid is just based around a, um, a neighbourhood. And, and you, don't, you don't collect all the numbers in at once. You can't just go into right move and say that there's all my nine numbers for that particular neighbourhood. You kind of do it over time as you build your business. You start to know the numbers that are, that are dropping in. So. In one area I'm thinking of, we've got a, a two-bed uh, terraced house is worth 79,000. That's kind of hand on heart value. We're not surveyors; it was just hand on heart value, research value. Um, and at 79,000, it's been like that for about 18 months. So we're about ready for a jump. And then the next level of a, a, um, a renter, sorry, will be.
be uh, 84,000 and a palace might be 99. So, so, and they drop in over time as you do the research, calling agents, doing the research on live stuff. And once you've got your nine box grids filled in um, across different neighbourhoods in your, in your patch, in your town, then you've started to, to nail it. And you never you need to use research and write me any because you know the prices, you know them on the ground. And in my patches, I know all the prices that, um, uh, you know, that the, the, the size of properties go for and the condition of properties go for. So I know them anyway. Once you know your numbers, you've then got a business you can work out because you can be quite fast. Because one, once a property become, uh, you know, comes on right for sale, if the price is slightly wrong and you can spot the deal, there's money to be had. So, so that's my nine box grid research. Uh, by all means, keep in touch. My name is Mark at markinson.com. Uh, no, that's my email address, not my name. My name is Mark Ironson. Uh, my email address is mark at markinson.com. Uh, by all means, keep in touch. And if I can help you further on your property journey, feel free to get in touch. Okay, see you soon. Bye.